On Thursday, there was an intense brawl between members of the Yumkanto Wisiswi, MK, party outside the KwaZulu Natal Legislature. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe icon. The submission of the party's divisive members list for the Friday swearing in ceremony served as the focal point of this furious conflict. After being removed from his role as the MK Provincial Coordinator, Nlanlanjiti boldly tried to present his own slate of candidates. This audacious conduct sparked a heated debate with an opposing group, who adamantly maintained that their list was the only authentic collection, painstakingly assembled by none other than the late President Jacob Zuma. Supporters from both sides held signs and yelled slogans, raising their voices in a cacophony that echoed through Peter Meritzburg's old streets as the tension in the air crackled. There were charges of treachery and betrayal flying from both sides of what amounted to a political battlefield. Defiant and uncompromising, Njidi declared his list to be the official one, claiming it to be an example of grassroots democracy. He said the words, This is the voice of the people, and it shall not be silenced, with the fire of a revolutionary fanatic. On the other hand, the side that supports Zuma exuded a strong sense of confidence and discounted Njidi's assertions as simply idle chatter. A spokeswoman said with dramatic solemnity, Our list, blessed by the wisdom of Jacob Zuma, is the true reflection of MK's enduring legacy. The two groups were fighting for domination, and security personnel, caught in the whirlwind, were finding it difficult to keep the peace. A large crowd of people watched the show, drawn in by the suspenseful drama taking place in front of them. The issue of which list would win remained unclear as the dust cleared. But one thing was very evident. The Yumkanto Wisiswi Party, which was founded in a climate of conflict, is still a place where political fervor flares up with an intensity never seen before. Once more, leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, Julius Malima, has made known the details of his recent meeting with Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of the African National Congress, ANC. In a calculated move, the conversation centered on coalition negotiations and Malima's chances of winning the esteemed position of Speaker of the National Assembly. The disclosure occurs in the midst of increased political scheming by parties attempting to establish stable government frameworks. Malima's ambitions to become Speaker indicate that the EFF wants to be heavily involved in the legislative process. The Speaker's position would afford the EFF significant influence over legislative agendas because of his or her crucial role in supervising parliamentary processes and preserving order. With his vibrant and often contentious political style, Malima would provide a unique perspective to the Speaker's position. His leadership in this capacity may have an effect on the general legislative environment as well as parliamentary etiquette. Despite its dominance, the ANC has been struggling with internal strife and outside challenges, Therefore, coalition alliances are crucial to preserving the stability of government. The ANC's strategic concerns in achieving a strong parliamentary majority are shown by Ramaphosa's readiness to interact with Malima. Political commentators believe that Malima is using the EFF's negotiating leverage in addition to his own ambitions. The EFF emphasizes its importance in South African politics and its dedication to influence policy direction by vying for a prominent position but it's yet unclear how these discussions will turn up. The advantages of an alliance with the EFF must be weighed against the possibility of ideological conflicts for the ANC. The public's and other political parties' responses will also play a significant role in determining the outcome. The likely appointment of Julius Malima as Speaker of the National Assembly marks a significant change in the political landscape of the country as South Africa monitors these events. If this combination comes to pass, it has the potential to completely rewrite the laws and usher in a new period of bipartisanship. The timing of this NEC meeting is significant because of mounting public pressure and demands for party responsibility. The ANC's position on recent accusations of corruption, the direction of policy in front of the general elections in 2024, and tactics to improve party solidarity are among the important subjects on the agenda. Adding to the celebrity presence is Police Minister Becky Seal who has also arrived at the location. The fact that both leaders are there emphasizes how important the conversations are, especially when it comes to issues of organizational unity, security, and governance. The Governing African National Congress, 
A and C, is under increasing pressure to resolve internal conflicts and boost public trust.